What's up, my studies? What up, my studies? I'm Eric. I'm Autumn. And welcome to Burning with the Studies. Welcome, guys. Welcome, my studies. That's right. How you guys doing? Yeah. So, uh, baby, what's the strand of the day? So today, the strand of the day is Fahrenheit. 500. <laughs> Fahrenheit is a 90s cologne that brothers used to wear back in the days. But <laughs> by Calvin All right, so <laughs> no, stretch, stretch that. Okay, no, tell, no I got you. I got you, babe. Is. I got you. I got tell you. Tell me about the strand. Okay, beautiful. The strand is 500. Now, 500... It's a high and I just and I just spark it. How about that? That's right. That's right. So you tell me about it. The light it should be over there in the ashtray, okay. right there. Yeah. So fire hydrant is basically a hybrid. It has an earthy, spicy type of taste to it, but it's still the bomb because you can work, you can go to school, whatever your thing may be, and you can function off of it. And the medicinal. The medicinal is just, they say it in terms of uh, anxiety, stress, depression. I need that. I definitely <laughs> need that. I need all that. Anxiety, depression. Well, you, not you depression. need that? I don't know. No. I don't oh. Need <laughs> I was like, what? I need it. The fire hydrant. I That's need right. it okay. for the anxiety, not the depression, because I'm pretty happy with, for that. Good answer. So, <laughs> so. He just told you the strand of the day, so I am going to tell you what we're eating today, which is the dish of the day. The dish of the day. That's right. Which is stuffed sweet potato mm. with shrimp. Ooh. So we're gonna have the salty and the savory, the sweet and the savory now, all combined together. That's right. It is baby. Now the reason that you may see us incorporate sweet potatoes a lot is because they, for one, it tastes good, but it's a lot of good health benefits to it. I wanted to just share with the studies out there. One moment. So this is what it says, studies. It says uh, surprising health benefits of sweet potatoes. Highly nutritious. Okay. Sweet potatoes are a great source of fiber, vitamins, and minerals. It promotes gut health. It says the fiber and antioxidants in a sweet potato are advantageous to gut health. Okay. And it says may have cancer fighting properties. Always a plus. Supports healthy vision. It may enhance brain function. And the main reason that you may see us incorporating this a lot in our diet is because it strengthens the immune system. That's very important. In today's, you know, we definitely moment in time. Yes, yeah. yes. We need always to build up our immune system. So you know, so normally, here you go, babe. Mm -hmm. Normally, I'm more vegan and pescatarian, but I sometimes feel like some some shrimp. I know what it is. So all you diehard vegans that eh, that's nasty. That's the roach. Let's see. I understand that. I don't even but, know why you entertain that. I understand, but. I love what it. it is. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. So, and saying all that. So that's the dish of the day. So, what you want? Oh, but you know what? Hey, my studies. I don't even know. I don't even know. You know, you guys are studies. Tell me what it is. Studi is right. Yeah. So, studi is a stoner and a foodie, and you combine the two, and you have a studi. So, right. Anybody that loves to eat, eat loves to cook. Cook and loves to smoke. Yeah, you you're a student. Automatically a student. So, so we're not just studies. Y'all are studies. Yeah, you a student. <laughs> you a student. She a student. He a student. We yeah, students. Like to be a student too. All right. So, in saying all that, we are going to start cooking our sweet potato. So. And so we already already pre cooked our sweet potato. Mm -hmm. Um. So we figured that people should know how to. Baked potato or sweet potato. Right. If you don't know how to do that, this this you need to go to another cooking show before you come here, cause you know. <laughs> yeah, cause we're not chefs. We studios. yeah, we're just studios. We ain't so. got time for all that. We mm -hmm. gotta eat. We smoking. We eating, but we will share any information with our fellow studios. So what we do is we put the sweet potatoes in, in the oven, oven for 400, mm -hmm. 400 degrees and left it in there for about thirty. 
35, 35 minutes. minutes. Yeah. So now we are going to make our shrimp for the stuffed potato. Oh, shrimp. Excuse me, for the sweet potato. Um, stuffed yeah. potato was good too. Yeah. Yeah, stuffed potato, the sweet the potato, potato again, I'll just love that sweet. I want you to tell them what's the in savory. it. Y'all, wait so, till y'all hear what's in it, man. My baby, man, she be burning. So, what you're going to do, we're going to need some scallions. Scallions. Uh huh. You also you're gonna need some onions. Onion. That's right. Uh we have portobello mushrooms. Mushrooms. That's right. Um we those have colors, man. Ooh. Orange uh peppers. That's right. And then we also have green, green peppers. peppers. Okay? okay. So we're gonna put all that in the party. The that's all that's going in the party. Yeah, that's so let's we're do just it. gonna put all yep. that into the shrimp. Yep. Get those peppers, yeah. Get that all Get mixed all. up together. Bye, bye, Man, bye, fellas, bye. I'm gonna tell you straight up. There's no sweeter joy than watching a woman in the kitchen. I'm trying to tell you. Oh jeez. I'm serious, baby. Oh, this is an aphrodisiac. <laughs> so crazy. Oh, okay. okay. So now that we got our uh, peppers that and our together. vegetables and the shrimp, oh, we just gonna go ahead and give it a little. And I'm gonna get the J while I'm at it. <laughs> Do that. So mix it all in. Mix it, mix it. I'm gonna mix it like that. Mix it all in like so. Yeah, I wanted to ask you because the last time you made it, well, I know you're going to tell the studies what uh, season is and everything. Yes. And, and can I just share this right quick? Yes. I'm not going to get long with it. We had a talk, y'all. She said we're going to do everything in decency and order. Mm -hmm. So I ain't going to get long with it. No, it don't have to be like that. <laughs> now, um, do you put obey in this? I do. So this is um, an adobe seasoning. It has like obe. Mm -hmm. uh, it has paprika, adobe, and all that good stuff all in one. So right. you put a little bit in there like so. I like the can. Fancy, schmancy. I know. I love this brand. Uh, what is the Shenandoah Spice Company. Oh, yeah. Oh, shoot. A little bit. No, that's good. No, that could be too yeah. much. Mm -mm. Not in this house. Never too much, never too much. What's that? What so you got next? So here we right have here? black pepper. Black pepper. You know, and I like coarse black pepper. It's mm -hmm. just, I like that bite. I don't like anything that's fine. I like my black pepper thick. Mm-hmm. You know? Right quick. So then... <laughs> right quick. You good? Yeah. Okay. And Go then on. we have our garlic. Bop, bop, bop. That's right. And then Mrs. Dash, um, all purpose. Yeah, she debuted on our first uh, episode. <laughs> yeah, and I love her. That's right. We love her. We love her. And then I put a little salt, like my sea salt. Now, what I was going to say was, up. if you couldn't cook regular food, you're not going to be able to cook vegan food. That just means you can't cook. But it's hope for everyone. No, I'm saying you have to respect your seasoning. I think that's what it's all about. I mean, you could be a good cook, but when you season that thing, and I think that's why all the food that you make tastes so wonderful because you know how to season it. Well, carry on. I just had to share that tidbit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. And then also we have the tequila lime uh, by Blackstone. See, that's the shit I'm talking that's about right there oh and then one other thing that we need can you please give me one of those lemons please yes and could you cut it up for me darling you got it so i just love lemon i use that for basically the season vegetables um like broccoli oh lemon and broccoli taste so good and I like to like always lemon and fish. I already, uh, I already sprinkled a little lemon on it before um, I put the vegetables on it, which I didn't show because I just forgot to show you guys. But um, did you go babe? Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. So we just like to squeeze just a you little. You want this bit. one too? Uh, yeah, you can squeeze the squeeze at the same time. And just squeeze it, squeeze it. Make sure all your, there you go. Yeah. Everybody in the party. Fruits and vegetables have seeds. Yeah. 
Because if it doesn't have a seed, that means that it was created in a lab, right? Yeah, it's just not good. Yeah. yeah. So Everything has a seed, so no seedless watermelons and seedless grapes. I know it sounds convenient to not have a seed in it, but just remember that that shit ain't real. You heard it here first from the studies. <laughs> trying to tell you guys. So you just mix all the ingredients together. Everything together. That's right. Mm, look, so, it's not even cooked, and it smells so good. Yeah, I mean, you put a Ooh. lot of you put a lot of lemon, and you could actually cook it. So is is okay. Is the olive oil prepped, or do I need to start that for you while you're mixing? We're gonna start that. So what we're gonna do okay. is we're gonna start the uh, uh, start the stove. Okay. Get the oil nice and hot, and then put our shrimp in the stove. Okay, my studio, so right now we are going to uh, cook the shrimp. So um, I use olive oil and then I'm going to put your medium, well, you put your heat high. Um, it doesn't take a long to cook, so as soon as you get on there and your shrimp becomes a little seized, um, I guess that's a crib sign, so scratch that. I don't want to promote anybody. <laughs> but uh, your shrimp will turn onto little seeds. No, I know no what you mean. Intended. No, you're good, <laughs> you're right, a right. Oh, oh my God. But anyway, um, so, so that's what we're doing right now. So you want to uh, pre <laughs> preheat your uh, pan. Mm -hmm. um, and again, you want a little high, but not too high, so it's like right there. Uh, okay. Yeah, we match it down. Yep. Again, I'm not the terminology for cooking. I don't know. I just know what it tastes good. It's because like we're not chefs, we studies. We get yeah. it. So you want to pre uh, pre heat your your pan and make sure that it's nice and hot, which I can tell that it is. Right, 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 and right, right. You just go ahead. That's right. Everyone into the pool. Oh yeah. I love that sound. Uh oh, we got one. That's right. Everyone into the pool. I love that smell. Oh yeah, let me turn the vent on for you, baby. Okay, okay. You sure? Okay, yeah. Okay. Alright. Alright. So you put everything in the pan. Yep. Mm, that smells so good. Right. And again, you just put a little bit of olive oil to coat the pan. Mm -hmm. um, I don't like to saturate the shrimp with oil. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Normally, you shouldn't put that much shrimp in the pan, but it's late and I would like to eat. Yeah, and me too. I'm hungry as shit. <laughs> because, yeah, it's going to take long shit. Right. And yeah, I'm a studie. And that's what studies do. That's right. Just make shit taste good. That's and right. Go by anybody else's food. So, right, 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 babe. So you you talk your shit, babe. Talk your shit. Talk your studie shit. It. That's right. Bop, bop, bop. Mm. And while that is cooking. Man, that's that pescatarian life. Damn, that smells good. All right, so while that's cooking, mm -hmm. you take a sip of wine. That's right. <laughs> and then you just do it. Yeah. Mm. I like a red wine. With seafood? I don't care what. I just like wine. <laughs> I don't care if it's red wine, white wine. I yeah. just like wine. Yeah. I don't get into, you know, this tastes good with this. I don't care. Wine tastes good with food. Right. Red wine tastes good with food. White, <laughs> white wine, wine tastes, tastes good with food, food. right? Either I get way, it. it's going to get drunk all the time. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all the time. Hey, that's right. Talk your shit, babe. So now. So you get back to it. Yep. And you do it again. And just again, you want to get all pink and them looking like little C's. Right. Okay. And that little C's from Junior Mafia, right? No. Not <laughs> little C's. Give me a little shout out. But no, um, you want it to look like. I know what you mean. So basically, you're saying the shape of the shrimp. Yeah. Some people say it's overdone if it goes past there, but it's it's, it's what yeah, you like. I like that shit. Right. I like overdone stuff. I like chard. I like stuff like that. Yeah, because like that's what that flavor is, right? I don't know. I just like my shit done. That's right. <laughs> so, you know, I don't like perfect cage, nothing. Right. Even my little burnt. Edges, right? You know what I'm saying? My edges not burnt though. Right. My edges. Is stop it. You look so beautiful. My edges. Will you stop? <laughs> you gotta look at them edges. Oh my god. Oh, uh, look at her edges, y'all. No, you're not. Okay, guys. So now that the shrimp is nice and cooked and smells so good. Mm, it so does. what I do first, I always like to put my. Always right now, I'm using the honey pot cannabis infused olive oil to make my. A cannabis infused um, agave nectar butter so I use a, again the honey pot cannabis infused olive oil and I use the nature's promise ground cinnamon and the agave nectar in the raw and then earth balance non GMO vegan butter spread so I use that um, to make our nice Mm. Cannabis. That look like a shot. Agave mm. nectar butter sauce to Ooh. put on our sweet potato. Mm, that's so so good. you just drizzle that. That's right. Ooh, look at that drizzle, drizzle. You want to get on with all that goodness? Yeah. All right. And then I like to put my shrimp on. Mm. Again, I want the the sweet potato soft all 
the butter. Right. So you just put it on. Mm. Ooh. Piping hot. I can't wait to eat it. Y'all, I'm telling you, that stuffed sweet potato, that shrimp and them peppers and them seasonings. So, voila, you have stuffed sweet potatoes with agave nectar, cannabis infused butter sauce. Mm. So, we about to tear this up. Yeah, yes we are. Stay tuned. All right, Studi. So we're gonna garnish this off with some cilantro. Right. I love cilantro. This is just a great garnish. Uh, give it everything a zing. Um, anyway, I use it on everything, but not on everything, but basically everything. So we're just gonna sprinkle a little bit on there. And I just like a lot of cilantro. One more sting. I just like cilantro. And I'm gonna do the same. Ooh, look at all that shrimp. I'm gonna put some on the sides. Yeah. Okay, guys. So um, before we tear this up, I'm just gonna let you know that Studi merch is on its way. Yeah. Um, we're gonna have Studi butter for our locals. Yeah. Um, with the purchase of an aprons. Also, we're gonna have um. Studi aprons, Studi butter, Studi olive oil, Studi tintra for our locals That's with right. the purchase of an apron. Mm -hmm. Also, um, just, just watch out for just everything. So we are going to just promote that. Yeah, we're going. Get it out there. That's right. So, and remember, smoke good, eat, eat good, good, and, and live, live good. good. All right, guys, we're about to tear this up. Yeah. Thanks for hauling that you, burning with the studies. Mm -hmm. That's right. Let's dig in, babe. I can't wait. Oh yeah. my God, it smells so good. Mm. Mm. This is good. Mm-hmm. 